What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today we're jumping into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. Today we are going to the Eventide Fortress, the final map in the Survival Battlegrounds. And unfortunately I've taken a really, really long time to get around to putting this up. I apologize for that, but we should be fixing that today. And there should be, in the future, a few more clears of this specific map. Uh, just going to show a few different ways to do it, because obviously uh, just doing it with mechs, has its own advantages and disadvantages. But uh, the main thing that I want to get across here is the way that you set up your barricades uh, because it's very specific to the way that this map actually develops. There's probably a couple of ways to do it, but this is the way that I found to be the most reliable and uh, really gives you a, a bit of time to work with. I think I generally finish a little under, uh, around two minutes under par which means that at a lower level, uh, this should be much easier to uh, finish, especially if you're using a character that deals a bit more damage to Max. Either way, let's go ahead and jump in. Start. All right, here we go. So we're through here. First thing I'm gonna do is go around this corner, drop this that. Right and as usual, I will have the details about my loadout in the video description. So if you guys want to see all of the nitty gritty details, feel free to check that out. And there we go. So three great wall barricades will block this off. I'm going to leave this alone. This is pretty much just the cobalt factory. So you won't have to worry too much about what's in there. But it's going to be annoying. So... We're pretty much going to use the same setup that I always have for that rightmost gate. The way that these things are going to open Oops. here. Almost hurt myself on that. There we go. It's going to be this gate followed by the upper right gate over here. These siege towers. And then we're going to come from there over to this guy. And then it's going to flip. These will close. The left gate will open, and then the upper right, I'm um, sorry, the upper left gate. So the left gate, and then the upper left gate, and then it'll be all five of the top gates mixed up until we get to the bottom. So we're going to basically force everything to path from the right all the way around counterclockwise and come up through the bottom over here to the rift. Now the main reason that this map is difficult isn't the amount of gates. Uh, the pathing can be set up relatively easily, and it'll cost you about, I think, maybe... About 14,000 to 16,000 coin based on discounts and parts in your Great Wall Barricades. If you're using regular barricades, it will probably cost you about 22,000 uh, if you have no discounts. So something to be aware of discounts and great wall barricades are pretty much highly recommended for this map uh, anything else is just an exercise in futility it makes this quite a bit harder uh, loses you a couple of traps and if that's the case then uh, when I build the ballistas at the bottom of the map you can just build a few less of those and that'll pretty much take care of it or not build them at all and just uh, you know manually take out the orcs but overall, this works out. So, yeah, those uh, like fireballs that are flying through the air and dropping here really seem to catch me off guard sometimes. Okay, I need you guys to just die. Right. Yeah, you want to hit me? Go ahead. Oh, now you don't. Okay. Yep. Everybody freeze. All right. We're gonna grab endorsements because this is gonna require a whole lot of coin, and I don't have a whole lot of coin. All right, now to work on the next bit here. I should actually do it over here first. Okay. Eventually, everything's going to have to go through there anyway. 
rift is opening. Destroy it. I actually shouldn't do that this way. I generally don't build those extra traps. And I'm going to need to save me a small bit of coin anyway. Uh, wow, that was a horrible shot. Now, this unstable rift can show up just about anywhere, including at the opposite end of the map, which is why I have the teleportation ring. If it shows up at the bottom of the map, ignore these guys for a little bit, fire an absolutely stunning bolt, and run. And then once you get to the bottom, take out the rift, and then use your teleportation ring back and take whichever portal near the rift is closest to the orc's path. It'll likely be the left one. Uh, that guy had very low health. Should have scanned him first, just to see how much health they were dealing with. Let's change this up. Our enemies have broken through again. Okay. They broken through, but did you die though? I'll just leave this right here. You'll never notice this. All right, that's just about done. All right, so we get this wave, and I believe we got one more that's going to be coming through here like this. Well, thank you for intercepting that arrow, Mr. Ogre. Alright, gonna grab In Your Faces, or In The Kisser, sorry. Which is a buff for In Your Faces, gives it 50% more damage. about done here never this. They've summoned the boss minion. of course they did pretty sure we get one more unstable rift here Watch out. An unstable rift is opening. there Get it is it it. alright nice not absolutely destroyed but his health should be pretty low maybe those swinging maces that I have set up will be able to take him out all right, it's in the crosshair. That means it should be dead. Destroy the unstable rift. And those guys going through on the right. Why have you not taken that much damage? There you go. Boss defeated. Thank you, defeated boss. Okay. And I'm going to head back and take these guys out just because I absolutely want to make sure that I'm maximizing my coin here. And them getting into the rift is a few less pennies for me. And that is a really slow no. There we go. So we're going to start this up and hop over these caves here. The enemy army is attacking on another front. They'll never notice this. Twice, cut one. Oh. Now this is what we want here. There we go. Okay. So I went a completely different route for a second. Thanks for giving me some time to make sure you died. Alright, grabbing so beautiful it hurts. Now, doing that for a very important reason, uh, we absolutely need to make sure that we can one-shot these bosses. Taking too much time on the bosses here is going to be problematic for your par, to say the least. I'll never notice this. And this takes, I believe, uh, about nine barricades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, eight, if you do not have uh, the Great Walls. Be one, two, three, four, five, and eight. Yep. So that saved me three traps. It saved me two on the uh, right side as well. Uh, three, actually. So, yeah, Great Wall Barricade. Whoopsie. Definitely Almost good for conserving your Unstated trap count. Quick, destroy it. 
All right, that's not a particularly problematic unstable rift location. So if I don't get to it, I'm not particularly in too much trouble. But these guys actually uh, are already going to be forced to path around to the bottom of the map. So I think I may be able to hit it. Let's hope so. Just enough time. All right, and the trap setup that I have for the right side should have pretty much made sure that our barricades are under attack. They didn't get out there, but it doesn't look like it did. It's interesting. Now, the one thing that I absolutely find interesting is that right there. Uh, whether or not the kobolds blow up on the, the upper right barricade seems to be somewhat fickle. And it's still not going to cost me the map as long as I can take care of these trolls because they're going to get through here right now. Okay, and the stun didn't happen. That's a bit problematic. Alright, and that's everything. So let's go ahead and replace that. I would have expected the traps that I had placed over here to pretty much take care of those, but for whatever reason, didn't work out. Now, the main thing that we need to worry about here, and that I should have went and trapped for rather than actually looking at that area, is these guys here. Alright, while not a particularly big deal, we are going to want to take them out as soon as possible. Alright, drop this. And then we're going to grab Persistent. The extra damage here will help us eat through all of the enemies that we'll be dealing with. Alright, there we go. Is that another Noel? Yeah, you just hopped the barricade. Okay. These gnolls waste a ton of my time. And the next batch of guys that we'll have to deal with are essentially going to be fire gnolls. So, what we'll want to do with them is as much physical damage as possible. I'll just leave this right here. And most of that's probably going to happen right here. My boss is on his way. Whoopsie. Almost hurt myself on that. I'll just leave this right here. No, I shouldn't do that. So the reason why I shouldn't put that floor scorcher there is because uh, apparently I found out today that down enemies can use portals these things here if an enemy entity happens to touch them they will go through it so it's not a big issue in most places but in these two alcoves here if you decide to use physics traps um enemies might just randomly wind up exactly next to your rift I'm not a fan of that never notice this. Uh, we'll do that though Twice, cut one. All right, now that we have a ton of coin because we are playing with max in combination with a uh, physical damage trap discount. Whoopsie, almost hurt myself on that. We're about to make sure that everybody going burn today. I'll just leave this right here. They'll never notice this. All right. Twice, cut once. Whoopsie, almost hurt myself on that. I'll just leave this right here. Pat on your life. You'll never notice this. Twice, cut once. Alright, still got quite a few of them through, but they're a little weakened, which is great. I'm just going to take those so that my uh, barricades don't have to deal with them. Our barricades are under attack. Now, one of those guys. Whoa. That was almost enough to kill me. One of those guys isn't going to really murder me. Uh, more than one, good chance. Alright, and that's actually where I want my guardian placed. Oh, 
That one's getting kind of far. Thank you. Just going to aggro you back here. And then blow you up. A couple of Zapparinos for you. And then Lightning Ring and Shield. There we go. All right, what do we actually want done over here? We're gonna do Look, this. Almost hurt myself on that. That. I'll just leave this right here. Okay. They'll never notice this. Measure twice, cut once. I'll just leave this right here. Now, most of those are not really going to be anything super important. An unstable rift is opening. That's unfortunate. It must be destroyed. So I'm going to have to hop over here, blast this, teleport back, and again, now I'm kind of worried about the fire ogres actually getting something done. See if we can take them out before anything really bad happens. Got him. Okay. Okay, y'all can stop hitting me now. Wait, how did the fire ogres walk past the guardian? That shouldn't have happened. I thought they would aggro. Maybe I was wrong? Alright. Little guy, you go through. Well, these haven't lost nearly as much health as I expected. But this is taking my time. Oh, missed that. That was bad. Okay, we're still on track for powering this with a good amount of time to spare. We have the bottom areas open up, and I haven't trapped it up yet. Look how spinning has the the battlefield. Battlefield. But this is what we're going to do. Rum Rudder's going to be on fire. The boss is down. And, um, now he's dead. An unstable rift is opening. Destroy it. Uh, these guys will be dead before I even need to worry about that, but just to be sure. Okay. And the extra track count that I have pretty much allows me to use those ballistas. So, if I was using regular barricades, uh, I probably wouldn't have placed the ballistas and would have been short just a bit more coin. Well, actually, I would have used that coin to place the initial barricades, but those ballistas are pretty much icing on the cake and will help to make sure that uh, this area is largely clear. So, now that we are just about done here, let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the map with uh, some additional damage. Mostly not necessary, but will help to clear through areas so that you don't have to do too much work. So I like to make sure that I come down here and clean these areas out just a bit. This is set up just right, just about nothing should actually get through. Never A boss is on his way. Oh yeah, two before. Okay, so two before is gonna come from the upper right gate. Nothing else will get through. But we need to go shoot him in the face. Hello to before his face. The boss minion has been taken down. Goodbye to before his face. All right. You guys are still alive. My seconds are precious. Thank you. So I mash the and head to the bottom again. Now while we do have some enemies spawning on the left side of the map over here. They have to come down here to even get through, so we don't really care about them too much. I wonder where the bouncer bear is spawning from. I still got Do we actually... Is he not going to spawn because of the glitch? So that's another thing. I think before I put up another clear of this, I'm going to wait until after the 2.1 patch drops and the... Uh, Mercenaries don't just randomly die when they spawn. That way we can get a more uh, visual appreciation of what happens here. Now, I have played this and had the Pride Hunter, 
get summoned all right, but some of the other ones seem to have some issues. Doesn't seem to happen too much with the Pride Assassin, but um, the Kobold and the Dwarven Priest definitely seem to have some issues where they just go out of bounds and die. Okay, so got a little under three minutes and the last wave, so we should be absolutely okay as far as part time. And some loud kobold yelling. So this is really nice. These guys are pretty much toast though. If I could hit things, that would be really nice. Uh, almost nothing is coming from the left side. I think you get two heavy mountain trolls. And these fire ogres are the last things that could even attempt to damage barricades. And they're pretty much just going to get blown up. Hit me. There we go. You're gone. All right, and these uh, knolls are pretty much the last thing that we have to deal with. We're gonna get them nicely uh, electrocuted, and we're good to go. Oh yeah, we're good. There we go. That is probably the worst score I've gotten today on this. And there we go. 868,000 damage done by traps, 367 by the hero. Not bad, but uh, with a faster hero, you could probably do that even better by transferring some of the damage onto the hero. But that's going to be the Eventide Fortress. There's a few ways to go about doing it differently. And uh, as I said, I'm going to wait until Tuesday to put up some other clears of this particular map to make sure that we can get something that... Uh, more accurately shows the interaction between possibly different mercenaries but I'll probably do it with a melee hero next um, there's one other thing that I want to show that won't really actually matter too much for the mercenaries and it's going to be like my personal way to do the endless baths I know I've shown that map probably way too much recently but this is going to be a solo one uh, done personally by me and I think it looks interesting so, either way, that's something for a later time. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys for watching this. I hope this helped you out in some way. And if you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to drop those in the section beneath the video. As always, have a good one, folks.